Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest IV. Let's head to the lighthouse, see if we can clear it of monsters so that uh, ships can sail once again. Hi, fly guys. Let's murder you. Where exactly is this uh, lighthouse? Okay, I see it. Oh no, the enemy's struck first. Ah, rude! Don't don't suck up my MP. You attack that. You attack that, and you go ahead and bang them all. Ooh, critical hit. What? Not affected. Ugh. What is up with the spells? I don't know why the uh, why enemies are like not getting affected by stuff lately. Seems weird. Yeah, there's the uh, lighthouse. All right. <clears throat> so let's see if I can figure out uh, where everything is around here. Ooh, I see a uh, I see some chests. Also. I see a fat man! He's not named Jake, though. Although, now that I've said that, uh... That's Jake and the fat man, not Jake the fat man. So, yeah, he wouldn't be named Jake. Whatever. Let's go with a whoosh. Let's go with a bang. There we go. Actually hitting them. Wow, critical hit. Jeez. A heal slime shows up. Well, that's a critical hit. Sorry, heal slime. Hello! Hello there! I don't know who you are, but tis a fine time you've come at. I came here myself to get rid of that menacing evil flame that's burning at the top of the beacon. Only the monsters here are as tough as old boots, and I'm having trouble making my way up to the top. I know it's a bit of a tall order, like, but would you be willing to take over and get the job boxed off for me? Sure. You will? Well, that's grand. Twas a holy light burning at the top of the beacon here to just recently, you see. And I'm sure there still must be a few embers of it left here about somewhere. That's all you need to know to put out the evil flame that the monsters are burning up there now. You just need to find the embers. Do you want me to repeat all that? I'll run through it again... again for you if you didn't quite get it the first time. No, I'm good. Grand, I'll leave it to you then. We'll meet up back at the port. Wait, wait, what? 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 <sighs> Tornaco. How do I get into these chests? Hi, single restless armor. Ah, there's a doorway there that I missed. I see. Ha. Dang it. Oh my. <laughs> the enemies don't notice the party's presence. Well, that's probably a good thing. Let's go ahead and bang them all. Well, all the heal slimes are taken care of. <laughs> Ellie examines the treasure chest. What a seed of resilience! Mina obtains a seed of resilience! Ellie examines the treasure chest. Ellie obtains 400 gold coins. I always found it interesting that, like, treasure chests full of cash in this game in particular are always, like, almost worthless. I mean, not, not you know, worthless worthless, but they're really not that good. Alright, let's see... Ooh, 
we want to go this way. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. I think that might be new. Ellie examines the treasure chest. Okay, makes sense. What a mini metal! Holy cow! Look at all the heel slimes. Alrighty. Not sure if I should whoosh those, but... Whatever. Uh, we will go with another bang. Okay, yeah, I probably should not have whooshed it. <laughs> oh, that is fun. Stick the stairs up here, and grab this treasure. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What? A vial of magic water! Mina obtains the magic water! Of course, I have plenty of those, but... Let's go with the Sizz. I think Sizz does about the same amount of damage. Kasap. That is rude. Here, have a Sizz. good amount of uh, experience and cash from these things. <laughs> but yeah, like, two of those battles are worth more than that one uh, chest of coins that we encountered. Nothing there. A razor blades and a thorny devil. Let's try whooshing them. And let's try sizzing them. There we go. Very nice. A little bit easier than the uh, skeletal swordsman, anyway. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What a seat of strength! Mina obtains the seat of strength! Hello, thorny devils. I don't know what you guys can actually do. I guess we'll find out. Or not. I am pretty good f not finding out, actually. Oh, who's going up a level? Ellie? Yeah. Ellie's level increases to level 11. 9, M uh, nine hit points, 3 MP, uh, 3 strength, 2 agility and luck, 1 resilience and wisdom. And learn Sizz. And Holy Protection. What does Holy Protection do? Generates a holy aura that keeps weaker monsters away. Alright, so it's like Padfoot. Uh, does it uh, cost MP? It does, quite a bit. In comparison. Hello? Eep with Torneko. I heard he was coming here. Though I've been lying in wait for him. I was going to leap out and smash him smash his brain in. I see. He got scared and ran away, did he? Right then. Well, I don't care about you. It's Tornado I'm after. So long, suckers. The mini mini demon casts zoom. <laughs> and ouch! Bumps his head on the ceiling. Eep my head hurts. No answer. It looks like the mini demon knocked himself out. Well, this silly mini mini demon. Would you stop hitting me? Should probably heal up Ellie. Yeah. Uh, let's see, mid-heal is 75. I don't think I need that. 
Yeah, that's good enough. Hey, Were Tigers, it's been a while since we've uh, seen you guys. I really wish Ellie would attack first. I would really wish, really like Ellie to attack first. As long as I could give her some uh, seeds of agility. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What's a moonwort orb? Bulb, not orb. Mina obtains the moonwort bulb. Three were tigers. Nice, critical hit. Wonder how critical hits work when, uh, against enemies that have more hit points than they would one shot. Like a boss. I kind of feel like it probably would not uh, do a double attack. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What a hunter's bow! Mina obtains the hunter's bow. Not that big of a deal. I think... Yeah, there used to be a, uh, um, a mimic there, and it uh, looks like they took it out. It's kind of odd. Alright. Hello, treasure chest. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What? Some holy embers! You got the MacGuffin! Mina obtains the holy embers! Alright, so there's stairs there, there, and there. Uh, but those two lead to dead ends. We'll go actually check them out. Yeah, just enclosed rooms. This one, however, does not. And we can go over here and get the treasure chest. Ellie examines the treasure chest. What a golden tiara! Mina obtains a golden tiara that she probably didn't need to spend money on before. But it's okay, because we have 24,000 gold. Alright, uh, let's see. We probably want to cast some healing before we go into battle. You know what? Let's just do a heal all. There we go. Alright, here we go. Ka 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 ka! Burn, burn, dark flame! Burn and make all the stupid human boats founder. Ka 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 ka. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, no one. Oh, really? Now you don't have to come to us. Ka 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 ka. Idiot humans coming up here. More fuel for the flames of darkness. We'll toss you in and watch you burn. Ka 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 ka. I'll just have to name you the butcher then. A flamethrower appears. A tigergram. Tigergram? I don't get it. All right, what do we have? Uh, nothing much. So I think we are just going to attack. And I figure that the flamethrower is probably going to be the worst. Let's see if we can snooze the tiger gram. Let's bang them all. All right. Ow. Critical hit. Well, I will I will take that. Go ahead and bang them again. And it's still asleep. I might be a little bit overpowered. <coughs> Just a tad. Ooh. Dang it. Well... Try snoozing and let's try sizzing. Dang it. Ow! Good, you're not frozen with fear anymore. Well, 
Now you're dead. The enemy are defeated. 2,220 experience points. Ellie's level increases to 12. Maximum hit points increased by 9, MP by 3, and uh, 3 strength, 2 agility and luck, 1 resilience and wisdom. Mina's level increases to 14. Uh, 4 hit points, 4 MP, 1 strength and resilience, 2 agility and wisdom, 3 luck. And Maya's level increases to 14. 6 hit points, 8 MP, and 1 strength, agility, and resilience, 4 wisdom, 5 luck. And learned a new spell, Sizzle. 454 gold coins. Yeah! Victory is mine! Okay. Looks like I have to use uh, the Holy Embers. Rather than, like, try and interact with that. Mina throws the holy embers into the flames of darkness. They explode, killing everyone. Oh, you know, antimatter explosion kind of thing. Maybe we should set some guards here. The evil flame goes out and the holy light springs back to life. The highly pixelated flames. Whee! The best way off of a tower. Hi, Pteranodons. Hoffman, why are you mustering your strength? These guys are easy. Missed the uh, the bridge there. All right, fly guys are really easy. A single pteranodon, huh? Silly pteranodon. Thinking you can face me. Uh, you don't say anything new. Tis thanks to you that I can get back to me job at last. No rest for the wicked or us cargo luggers. I say you're not, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. You're more than your average folks, ain't you? No? Don't be so modest. There ain't nothing gets past these eyes. You're the kind of folks as perform miracles. Oh, I thought as much. Oh, I don't miss much, me. You don't, huh? Alright. Now you're not going to say anything different, right? Oh, no, you do. Ah, here come the heroes of the day. You seen off of them monsters good and proper, eh? I could tell as soon as them waves died down. That's how I knew you'd done it, see? I didn't exactly tell people I was going there, though. We best be more careful from now on. Can't let them... Let that their old... That their oldie flame at the beacon go out again, now can we? N no, you might want to, you know, like, set people there. That evil light at the Pharaoh's beacon's been exhausted at last. Extinguished at last. But I don't think them's the last of the troubles you... You're gonna be running into in your travels, my children. I do not get the U-M. U apostrophe M kind of thing. But don't give up. Remember the goddess above and keep your spirits up. <laughs> uh, you're not selling anything new. What's that made? Twas you lot that... Oh, seen the monsters off, at the... off out of the beacon, was it? Well, we're much obliged to you all then. He's proper lively again now, the port is. Like what a port should be. The Ferris Beacon out east is back to normal at last. What a blessed relief for us all. The ships are sailing again and everything. Oh, yes. We've got a lot to thank. A lot to thank you for, my lovers. 
Look, lady, I am not your lover. Just let's just be be completely clear here. All right, you still say the exact same thing. Well, I see some fellow down south over the sea. Okay, it's same thing. How about you? I hear the monsters causing all the trouble at the Ferris Beacon have been evicted at last. But it's too late for my ship. She's already at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, dear, dear. What about all the people on board? Oh, who cares about them? Well, oh, harsh. Yeah, it is a grand job you've done, so it is. Look how nicely all the ships are sailing now that the... Now that nasty flame's been put out by yourselves. Me own ship's all boxed off now as well, you know. I'm as happy as Larry, so I am. L Larry? 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 Actually, though, I have a bit of favor to be asking you. It seems I've made a few enemies among the monsters, and they're after me like. So I was thinking, if I could maybe travel along with a few tough articles like yourselves, I'd feel a lot more secure altogether. Can we maybe join forces and travel the world together? Will you have me? Sure. You will? Oh, that's grand. Right, then. Are we all fit? What's that, your wagon? Aye, of course we can. There's plenty of room on me ship for a wagon. So then, let's be making tracks. Toneko joins the party. Your, two, your new team member's possessions are placed in the bag. Time to set sail for all the unexplored lands and forgotten little islands in the world. Wait, wait, I wanted to check the inventory. No! We should be heading south first. There's a town down there by the name of Mintos. It's the Freshmaker. And they say there's an old fella there with an amazing map of the world. Alright, we kind of have sort of free reign. Um, I mean, I have a map of the world up top. I don't, I don't know if maybe that's not supposed to be displayed yet or something. I don't know. Uh, for, first of all, let's go ahead and... Ah, I've got Tornaco here now. Um, he still has his cautery sword. Still has all those other things. Ah, he does have a falcon blade that I got. That's right. Still has the horse manure. I got two pairs of boxer shorts now. And full plate armor. That's right. Yeah, that is better. I still have uh, um, Hank Hoffman. Uh, Tornico is level 9. I'm not sure if he'll gain MP outside of um, battle or not. Uh, XP? I think I said MP. Whatever. Alright, let's see what I what I have that uh, maybe we could do something with. Off oh, 7 Seeds of Strength. That's definitely something. Um, leather hat. I don't think it's going to be better for anyone at all, of course. But definitely not Tornaco. Scale shield. He's got one. Boxer shorts. Definitely not better. Hunter's bow. Nope. Uh, the cautery sword I might want to transfer over to Ellie if I'm not going to have Tornico in the party. 
That said, I should probably put Tornado in the party. Hey, uh, Tornado, can you, uh, can you wear the golden tiara? It's so weird that Tornado can't wear a golden tiara. Or a spangled dress. Can't imagine why not. No one else can use Falcon Blade and a Gold Bracer. Yeah, no. Alright. I'm okay with that. Alright, so I think Mintos is directly south. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any, like, real secrety stuff that I can get to right now. Um, I do see... I mean, I do see some, like, villages and castles that I can go to. I'm just not sure if there is anything, like, significant that I can get out of them uh, at the moment. So I guess we will head south to, uh... Mentos, I did not actually mean to, uh... Nope, nope, stop that! Stop that! I did not want to get out, out right there. There we go. Hey, I think I know this place. Why, I surely do know it. This here is Mintos. It's the Fresh Maker. As in Mintos, home of the fame, the infamous Conrad Ilton. Folks call him the God of Trade, you know. Gee, um, this may come a bit sudden for y'all, but... You know, I've had a hog-killing time traveling around with you fine people, and for that I'll always be mighty thankful. But it's my dream to follow in, in me daddy, Hank Hoffman Sr.'s footsteps and open up a fine inn of my own. Mintos is home to the god of trade, Conrad Hilton. He's ace high, and that's for sure. It'd be, it'd be fine as cream gravy if I could learn a thing or two from him. I know it's a mite selfish of me and all, but I gotta ask you anyway, Ellie. Would it be okay with you if we parted ways here? It'd mean the world to me to, to stay on here. Uh, no. Sakes alive, did you not hear what I be saying? Come on now, please. Oh, all right, fine. Why, thank you. I'll never forget you folks, you hear? And I'll never forget about... Uh, forget how important it is to have faith in your fellow man, neither. You take care now, Ma Mary Lou. I'll be praying for you all to have a safe trip. Just gonna leave her, your horse with us, huh? <laughs> all right, well, uh... I guess that means that we should probably put uh, Tornado into the party. Tornico's defense is horrible compared to the rest of ours. But I'll put him there. He does have more hit points than Maya, but we're also injured. Let's Let's see. 82, 71. Ah, to be fair, he's also lower level. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, Tornado's in the party now. I think we'll, uh, find a point to save it. If I can find a temple. Okay, there we go. Wow, quite the slowdown here. Okay. Uh, we are going to call it an episode here. When we come back next time, we'll explore the town of Mintos, the Fretchmaker. See you then, everyone.